What a mighty word unto our hearts. The importance of consecrating for a purified life. Consecrating is a mystery. Things happen that just cannot be reasoned out. When you consecrate, God bring purity in our lives that and look so challenging. It, it's like it, it's like the Lord press a button. It's like the Lord press a button in consecrating. It's a mystery. All that you have been thinking about all day to deal with and the logistic of this and what to do and what to do. And to consecrate before the Lord. It just happened. It just happened. It's a mystery. And that's why God says in Jeremiah 29, 13, he said, You shall seek me and find me when he shall search for me with all. Sit down with all of your heart. One little, you know, thing I would use to strengthen the word is when we pray, anything that is weak, we turn it, we turn it into a strong oil. For example, let's say we struggle to pray. We struggle to pray. Pray against prayerlessness. So while you're there, something come in your mind to get up or, you know, feel that motivation to stay there or you feel like you run out of words. You know, what am I going to say? No. It's a prayerless stronghold want to take you over. And you say, you... You, your prayerless stronghold come out of me. Anything negative, you name it. You name it. Your mind going all over the place. All over the place. And you want to concentrate and pray. You name it. You, dis, you prayer full distraction. Are you distraction from prayer? Come out of my mind. Thoughts come to your mind. I call them wild thoughts. Wild thoughts. Bizarre thoughts come to your mind while you want to pray. You say, wild thoughts. Bizarre thoughts. Sometimes images, not just thoughts, images. Wild images. Wild thoughts. I command you, come up for you to settle down in prayer. In other words, we are addressing What's hindering what you need? Because the prayer is a mystery. It's a mystery. You can't reason out what yokes prayer break. You can't even preach it well. I'm telling you, you can't even preach it well. You just feel when a yoke does break. That you can't, you could not reason out. You could not explain. I was trying to, 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 to say some of it and as the man of God, God move upon the man of God that for a pure life is <clears throat> not just knowing all the rules. No, it's not just being instructed for a pure life. It takes prayer. It takes prayer. It takes consecration. I love this word. I love this word. Hallelujah. I love this word. And one thing helped with the consecration is having a favorite place to come to pray. A favorite place. A favorite place. That is number one. But there's another place. You want to eat another place? Yes, a favorite place. That's where you're on. You have trouble. Come on, eat out too normal. You know. I dive off in there like I'm diving in water. Yeah. Yeah, run. Yeah, but I'm going to tell you the other place. Only the other place? Tell me. Any place. Any place. Are you going to tell me I don't have a big house? Are you going to tell me any place? Under the dining table. Anybody ever try that? You see, you're all so pious. You're all so pious. Under the dining table, under a chair, a big chair. <laughs> Come on now. Come on now. 
Consecration. I love this word. Consec anywhere. I'll drop right there, right here. And that's it for the next three years. Right here. And if you learn to do that, the devil can get you. I can't wait until I go home. My God. That's why all the, 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 the those staff in Harvest Army, Harvest Army, I'm going to tell you something you didn't know. We give them the freedom to drop and pray. No matter what work you have to do. No matter what I want to drop and just go to God. You're on the job. When you get up, you take two hours. Do what will take five hours. Come, <laughs> one of the one of the main things, the condition of your spirit and your mind. Shall you get up and finish off everything? I'm the job. We told him, told him, you won't get in trouble. You don't get in trouble. If you come out fine, you're praying, you're not going to get in trouble. No, any, you, you probably jump right where you are and pray. You solve many church problems. My God. I know we pray already, but just, can we just take half, hour, half a minute? It should be half hour. <laughs> just take half a minute and try, try to get what I'm trying to say. Don't be so professional in your prayer. Anything wrong, you tell God so he can get you ready to pray. Is getting ready to pray to, to let the prayer really take you over. You're doing those, you're fixing those stuff. Pray against prayerlessness, pray against distraction, pray against wild thoughts, pray against distraction, pray against wild images, pray against, pray against <laughs> being, <laughs> I don't know what word to call it, being so stiff that you, you have to get a pad, get a pad in the house. And put it right before the bed, you know, and get your Bible and open it and get your pen and say, Okay, Lord, no, you will have a prayerless life. You'll have a prayer soon and start praying and then go for pen later. My God. Just, just pray. It is so important. <laughs> Thank you. My God, it's so important. Just pray. I'm going to pray right here, sir. I'm going to pray right here, sir. Anybody going to follow me? I'm going to pray right here, sir. Lord, Take my life, Lord. Let it be consecrated, Lord. To yes, Lord Jesus. Take my moments and my days, Lord. Let them flow in ceases. Father, in the name of Jesus, I rebuke prayerlessness from my life. Ah, wandering thoughts, wild thoughts, wild images, bizarre distractions, normalcy. Oh, I rebuke everything that hinders my time in prayer right now. Jesus, every hindrance to my prayer time right now. I rebuke them. Help me to rebuke them, Lord. As I spend some time with you, Lord. The devil wants my God, my God. Search me, Lord. She's powerful. Oh, you can arise right now. If you get on you, you're going to stay till morning. My Lord. I got into trouble. Now they don't want to get up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.